guys. Very good afternoon. So I don't know if you can tell in the background, but we got a few new things going on in the garden. It looks so awesome. And actually, like, I don't, I think it's like beyond even like what we expected, even though like it's janky as heck. <laughs> <laughs> but I told him, he really did a good job piecing it together and just creating these trellises. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he made trellises. <laughs> so, my bad. <laughs> but that's what you want to call them. But it's basically stuff that I pieced together with what I have lying around. <laughs> and it works. It works. So, so. Uh, so let's take you on a tour, guys. All right, guys. So this is one of our squash plants. Uh, this is our little squash area here. Um, I just recently planted a squash plant there and a squash plant there. So uh, we'll have some uh, late, uh, squash and other squashes coming up. Our parsley and our sage is doing really well, actually. Mm -hmm. um, if you come into here... This guy in here is just loaded with fruit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six fruits right on this one plant. So hopefully soon before we know it, we'll be, we'll have so much squash we won't know what to do. <laughs> uh, our guys over in here, uh, these guys don't have any fruit yet, uh, but there are tons of buds and flowers on them. So I'm sure we'll have some fruit before we know it. Actually, it looks like this guy has a potential fruit growing right in there. Oh, it's tight. So right in there. Wow. So, a little cinnamon basil plant has gone to flower. So we're just going to let that guy be. Um, what are the trellises that I made? Sort of. Like, well, I made it. But well, yeah. It's still kind of a trellis. <laughs> uh, but we really needed some for our cucumbers because they're growing out of control. Uh, they got some fruit growing on them, which is really exciting. So we got fruit there, fruit down in there. I thought there was one above somewhere, like there's this a, one starting. There's a fruit down in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, yeah, it's. Uh, they're really getting ready to produce very, very soon, so we're really excited about that. Yes. Um, our peppers are finally starting to do something. They're getting bigger. Uh, we're shy two pepper plants, a little, three pepper plants. Mm -hmm. um, but that's all right. I might throw some herbs or some flowers in there. Mm -hmm. Our beans, if you follow our Instagram, you'll know that uh, we just harvested a bunch of beans yesterday. So they're really producing. Yeah. How many beans did we, like, almost half a pound? Almost half a pound, almost yep. Almost half, half a pound of beans, and... Actually, we did make it to a half pound, because there was one I was missing. As soon as I put it on, it made it to half. So... Uh, that's... Yeah, yeah, half a pound, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, half a pound, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and, I mean, we still got months and months and months yet to go. Yeah. So, uh, our, our bora, a uh, borage, is doing nicely. It looks like we're getting ready to get some flowers on the borage. At yeah. least this one over here. Those um, are very prickly too, by the way. <laughs> the basil. Uh, it looks like something's getting into the basil, um, but that's all right. Uh, we can still get some nice basil. This, the spinach is going to flower over here. We're just going to let that go to flower and attract pollinators. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! Like I said, <laughs> janky. Uh, the peas, we just harvested a bunch of peas yesterday. Um, from what I re uh, listened to on another YouTube channel, um, the peas are probably about to be done for. So, oh. they, yeah. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the peas. Um, just planted some radishes a few, mm -hmm. about a week or two ago. Yeah. Um, but they should be out of season pretty soon, too, according to the same YouTube channel. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we get some, we get some. We don't, so I'll plan something else. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, we still got our little volunteer. It's not actually a volunteer. It's a, it's a migrating. Migrating, yep. Uh, our cilantro. 
I feel oh like gosh. we just chopped it down yesterday yes, significantly, yeah. and it like grew right back. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the dill is doing real nice as well. Um, so here's our little bean trellis here. Um, as you can see, like it's it's. I guess you it want lucky. It wasn't like that uh, before I hung it up. So this is probably just a bit of shock, um, but I have no doubt that it'll, it'll bounce right back and start growing up the uh, strings there. Yeah. So, and I can't wait to see that happen. I know it'll be gorgeous once it gets all the way up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, this blank area, I actually planted a bunch of marigolds and it looks like we only have two that are like just now starting to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just recently, like maybe a half hour ago, planted some dahlias. Uh, just to get some color and some flowers in here to attract pollinators. Um, and these are some more bean plants. Uh, they're slowly making their way up the chicken wire. Yep. That I stick <laughs> onto our fence. Yep. As, uh, it works. Fence. It works. Uh, and, and actually, it looks like it looks like there's a little bean right here. Look at that. Boom. Oh snap! <laughs> no pun intended. Oh my gosh! Really. <sighs> So we got some kale, some collards. Um, supposed to have four collards, looks like two didn't make it. Uh, Swiss shard. I actually have no idea what this is. Oh, yeah, what the heck? <laughs> um, I'm curious if that's not just a really big weed. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> That we didn't want to pull because we weren't sure. If oh it was yeah, maybe, maybe something. Oh, um, but you can see our, our white Swiss shards looking nice. The yellow Swiss shards looking nice. The pink Swiss shard. Oh man, look! Look at oh, that my beautiful gosh. color. Look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous is the word for it. Yeah. Uh, lettuces. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. We have gotten a lot. A lot of rain mm -hmm. the past week. Yesterday we had no rain. Today we haven't had any rain. It's really hot, and I'm feeling these leaves, and like they feel very limp. Mm. So um, I'm thinking we're going to be watering this stuff uh, once we're done filming this, because um, I'm nervous about the way it's looking. Yeah. Um, and. Especially with the beans going into shock, and the cucumbers might hit a bit of shock too, because I really started messing around with them a lot. Yeah. So we're gonna give them a good drink, but uh, they're they're looking good, especially this tangled leaf lettuce, man. Yeah, that one looks really man, nice. Oh, and let me tell you something: you put that on a hamburger, the best mm -hmm. lettuce in the world for a hamburger. I mean, just for appearances' sake, like mm -hmm. it just makes a burger look look amazing. <laughs> uh, this is some other kind of lettuce. Um, that we really didn't use. Um, but as you can see, it's gonna flower. We're just gonna let it go and attract pollinators. Um, and then this is some butter crunch lettuce. Okay. On to the tomatoes. Yeah, we yeah, have uh, the patio area. <laughs> yeah. And if you uh, take a look, more janky trellising. <laughs> uh, basically just took, took chicken wire and staple gunned it across the patio. Of course, with my wife's permission. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care because I, I originally wanted to come up the patio somehow. Now, this lettuce is just out of control here. <laughs> we did use some of it though, yeah. but still, it's a it's lot. It's just out of control. <laughs> We're just going to have to chop it down and make some salads. Yep. Um, this is really exciting over here. This is actually a loofah gourd. And actually, I'm going to have to thin this out right now. Mm. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. There we go. Thin out. Cool. Uh, this is our loofah gourd. This is our lemon cucumber, uh, which is looking amazing. I kid you not. I I put this up just a few days ago. Mm -hmm. And this guy, he couldn't even reach it, and now he's grabbing for it, which is awesome. <laughs> awesome. Go. Really excited to see that. Humble beginnings. Our two pepper plants. Um, I think this is a green pepper over here, and you can see we got some fruit growing on it over there and there, right there. 
And then this is a lipstick pepper. Obvious that, baby. pepper going right there. Uh, with some more guys up in there going. So really excited to see that because our peppers were just doing lousy. Mm -hmm. um, the tomatoes. Believe it or not, they look a lot better than they did because they were just flopping <laughs> all over the place. So I just tied them up, try to guide them over towards the chicken wire and we'll see if that works. Mm -hmm. So we got some fruit <clears throat> growing on our tomatoes as well. You can, I don't know if you can get in there. Where? But oh, there's, okay. there's our little fruit right in there. And one that I'm really excited about. Really excited about is oh, on this guy. Where is it? Every time when we try to find it. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Oh, there yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. This is the Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato from Baker Creek. And you can already see the little colors. Oh, I'm so excited. I know. Man. I'm so excited. I'm such a kid right now. <laughs> uh, our other tomatoes over here, they're doing really well, probably. Uh, this week, not probably, this week I will be putting in two big stakes and doing the Florida weave mm. uh, to start trellising these guys up. Um, they're really, really yeah, they're doing really good without one right now. Yeah. Minus that little one that you're <laughs> fiddling with. They're looking really, really nice, so I can't Ooh. wait to have some yeah. tomatoes. Me too. Our strawberries are, are doing really nicely in here. They're uh, propagating quite nicely. Mm -hmm. So, one of the plants that I have now, if you look over here, we have some winter squash growing over in here. Mm -hmm. But if you come down, we actually got some some fruits. You see, there's a nice butternut squash right in there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And there's another one right over in there. Mm -hmm. That hasn't blossomed yet. Uh, and this guy, I don't think he's got any fruit on him. Yeah, I don't see nothing yet. But my, what my plan is, <laughs> so I'm what okay. my plan is for next year is to have this whole area just be a strawberry patch. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think that'll that'll look real nicely. It's gonna be really nice because. Um, yeah, we've been we've been loving the berries from the blueberries. Yes. Is, uh, we had to just, show them too. Just this morning, I, I picked one and a half ounces of blueberries, and it, oh, it's so nice to just be able to go out there. Like, I'll go out there. We'll be leaving for somewhere, and I'll stop and pick a couple of blueberries <laughs> before we actually get into the car <laughs> because I can. Our kale over here is doing really nice. Uh, we actually just used some of this kale this morning in uh, a frittata my wife made. So uh, uh, if you follow our Instagram, you'll see a picture of that. Mm -hmm. uh, our Instagram, uh, I'll be putting a link down in the description if you want to follow our Instagram. Uh, we'll also, very soon, be starting a Facebook page solely for our, our YouTube channel. Yes. Um, so uh, keep an eye out for that, and I'll be linking that as well. Um... Our melons are out in here. So the, this melon's looking really, really nice, actually. Yes. Really happy with that. It looks like it has new little ones here, too. So, and this melon and that melon's looking real nice. So we'll be, uh, certainly by the end of summer, having some watermelon fresh from our, uh, from our garden here. Mm -hmm. And then, I guess, uh, the last thing on the tour, cabbage. Boom! Uh, <laughs> now, I, 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 I have to reiterate this, um, or if this is your first time to our channel, you, you've not known this. All these cabbage we got for a dollar mm -hmm. because they were throwaways at a no local nursery because they weren't looking too pretty. They really weren't. Like, they were on the sides of this dying. And, uh, one, two, three, and I think it's Four, five, six, oh, yeah. seven cabbage. Seven cabbage for a dollar. <laughs> for a dollar. I mean, yeah. You, you, you can't buy that at a grocery store. 
you know, and, and worst case scenario, let's say they don't make it, I learned something new on how to take care of it. Mm-hmm. That's really how I think. I guess our neighbors are saying shut up. <laughs> oh, Stop gosh. <laughs> oh, leaf blower. Oh my gosh, they, have a, they hire a lot of landscapers over here. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me hit on that real quick. We live <sighs> in a suburban area uh -huh. with people whose yards don't actually require a landscaping company. <laughs> like, you really don't need a landscape. In fact, really small. It's not like they have huge front yards or anything neither in fact it's the house that's split up into two apartments right yes so i mean you're looking at a normal sized house that's actually split up into two apartments like it's not necessary to have a landscaping company do that i don't get it <laughs> <laughs> and, and don't don't get it twisted like i really suck at mowing the lawn like, i suck at it but <laughs> Only because, well, so, okay, let me touch on this real quick. Okay. We, our plan is actually to cover our entire yard with, with mulch. Mm-hmm. Which is mulch. Um, so, I kind of let it go because I'm waiting for that big drop of mulch at some point. Mm -hmm. um, which might be coming soon, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just found out about this... Uh, program called get chip drop get chip drop dot com literally you 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 put in a request for wood chips and at some point because they, they they don't give you an exact time they won't tell you when when they'll deliver it they won't tell you how much <laughs> and they won't pick it back up if you change your mind mm -hmm. so it's kind of like you say i want chips and they're like okay boom here you go <laughs> and you're stuck with them um and it's usually like a dump truck amount, like because it's it's specifically for tree cutting companies, um, specifically for chip uh, for tree cutting companies who are chipping down these wood uh, trees, and um, it would cost them more money to actually transport the transport the wood chips back to where they come from, and then drive all the way back than it would to just drop it in somebody local driveway. Mm -hmm. So you can go up, put in this request, and at some point, uh, which can be anywhere from that day to two months, three months, mm -hmm. you'll get a chip drop. Yep. And it'll be anywhere from four yards of chips to 20 yards of chips. And we're hoping for 20. <laughs> we're hoping for 20 because that will completely fill our backyard, which yep. is what we want. I have extra for the front a little bit. And some extra for the front, yeah. Landscape that. <laughs> um but yeah so that's why you know i'm waiting on that really mm -hmm. so for me the the backyard is not certainly not the backyard is a huge priority mm -hmm. the front and the side yard because we'll have the township come after us a bit more of a, <laughs> a bit more of a priority um, um, but i digress yep <laughs> i digress there's my rant oh gosh um that's our, that's our garden, guys. Yep. This and, is and you know what? Priscilla and I were actually standing <laughs> over here admiring our garden. From like this corner. Basically like from here in our patio. Just and checking if out. you knew from what we started from, like we are so amazingly blessed with what we got. Mm-hmm. So incredibly blessed. Uh, and, and yeah, it's uh, all thanks to God, really. It truly God, is. God provided this for us. This um, is like an example of patience. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because we didn't start out with a lot of money to even like start our garden or anything like that. No. Like yeah. this is just absolutely, this is like a testimony. It's very beautiful. I mean, to kill the grass, we literally laid down cardboard mm -hmm. for like six or seven months. Throughout winter, yeah. Throughout winter. Then we yanked it up. It was so dark and beautiful. We 
ended up making it into rows. Mm -hmm. We got the compost free from a, a local township. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a part of the mulch that you see over here is basically from the trees that we cut down that were in the backyard. Yeah. And well, he has a yeah. chipper, but that was a long process. Yeah, using that wood chipper to chip up the, the bushes that we have was a really painstakingly long process. Only because what was really uh, painstakingly long about it was the fact that they weren't straight yeah. uh, uh, branches. It was like powder. Um, it came out like powder and stuff. So, yeah, it was... It still Less worked for the it, most part, it, though. It, yeah, it certainly worked. Um, but for, for the amount of work that we put in, mm -hmm. for what we got, I don't know, and there's still so much there. Yeah. So as soon um, as we get that big old, hopefully, 20-foot thing of mulch, we'll just put those rest of branches piled out on the, yeah. on the side for them to pick up, the township to pick up. So... And yeah, so so really, all all this, the cost behind it was really the cost of buying the seeds. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. It was. The cost of buying the seeds. Um, and the chicken wire. The chicken wire we bought at no, the chicken wire was basically free. Yeah, because we had a gift card. We had a gift card from when we bought our house. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, this was practically free. It was just a cost yeah. of seeds. We got this. Yep. I mean, you, you can't beat that. No.